So I was, I, you know, I was using the, the, the gun vote as a simple example, but there are so many other examples. Uh, Robert Reich in his, uh, his uh, kind of open letter to Hillary Clinton uh, says, uh, points out, in 1964, and I realize many of you weren't born in 1964, but, you know, 1964 is not that long ago. It's in the lifetime of many of us. Only about uh, fewer than a third of Americans thought that the American government was basically, you know, a scam run by rich people. 29% of Americans believed that the government, quote, was run by a few big interests looking out for themselves. 29%, that was 1964. Right now, 80% of Americans think that. 80%. Four out of five. Why would that be? Because it is. See, in 1964, the government wasn't just a scam run by, by rich people. This was before the Powell Memo. Powell Memo in 1971, you know, Lewis Powell laid out a strategy for right-wingers and big corporations and billionaires to take over the American government. And not just our government. Take, off our, take over our school systems, take over our school boards, take over our cities, American Legislative Exchange Council, think tanks, Heritage Foundation, Koch Brothers, all this stuff. Uh, in the presidential year of 1980, the richest one one-hundredth of one percent accounted for 10% of total campaign contributions. In 2012, the last presidential year we have numbers for, that richest one one-hundredth of one percent, instead of accounting for 10% of presidential campaign donations, accounted for 40%. That's one one-hundredth of one percent. That's not even the one percent. In the 1970s, when, when people left Congress, only 3% of retiring members of Congress went off to become lobbyists in the 1970s. This is before Reagan. Since Reagan, you know what the percentage is? 42%. 42% do what Barney Frank did and cash in and get rich. Go off to become lobbyists or become directors of banks or whatever. You know, hey, give me, give me the money. This morning, I, uh, I came in on Uber Pool, and uh, the woman sitting next to me, uh, uh, a woman who works downtown here, she was, she was just, she was so astonished by last night. She was an older woman, I'd guess, probably in her 60s. And she, and she uh, was like, that vote last night, that was so wrong, those votes. She said, we need to throw them all out. And I'm like, well, I think it was the Republicans who were filibustering it. The Democrats all voted for gun control. And she said, throw them all out. They're all corrupt. And, and it's like, that's exactly what they want you to believe, right? They, you know, the, 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 these billionaires and conservatives have destroyed the Republican Party to the point where now people are generalizing it to all of politics, which is not to say that there are not, you know, a... Uh, a noticeable core cohort of corrupted Democrats. But their number is small compared to the entire Republican Party. So anyhow, what, what Robert Reich says is, number one, stop the revolving door. Make a commitment that uh, you, you will nominate a Supreme Court justice who will strike down Citizens United, number two. Number one, the, the, the stop the revolving door between the White House and Treasury on the one side and banksters and Wall Street on the other. No more banksters in the Treasury Department, or at least a two-year cooling down period. Fight for public financing for general elections. These are all parts of democracy. Demand full disclosure of all sources of campaign funding, Robert Reich suggests. This is pretty straightforward stuff. This is extremely straightforward stuff, in fact. And, the, and this gun vote that you're seeing right now is just the most in-your-face example. The uh, retirement advice rule. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce right now, along with the Financial Services Roundtable and the Securities Industry and Financial Markets Association, filed a lawsuit in federal court in Dallas. This was over at MSM, uh, MSN.com. The headline is Group Sue Over Retirement Advice Rule. Did you know that it's a $14 trillion market? 
for for uh, investing your money. Fourteen trillion dollars. And it used to be that brokers were required to give suitable advice. In other words, you say, I'll take low risk, medium risk, high risk, and they just put you wherever you want to go. Now they have a, what's called a fiduciary responsibility, which means that they have to tell you if they're screwing you. If they're, if they're putting you in something that pays them a higher commission and pays you a lower rate of return, they have to tell you that. That's now the law. Right. This was Elizabeth Warren got this. You know, this is part of Dodd Frank, and the and the Obama administration pushed this through. And these groups are suing, saying, "No, we don't want that to be the law. We want to be able to continue to rip off retired people and people planning for retirement." It's a fourteen trillion dollar business. The press release that these groups sent out: the right of private action mechanism creates significant new legal risk for financial advisors. Yes, if you steal from us, we can sue you, idiots. Excuse me. Who will face the threat of class action lawyers challenging their every move. Thank God. Suit was joined by the Financial Services Roundtable, Financial Services Institute, the Insurer, Insured Retirement Institute, and several Texas business groups. One of the attorneys listed was Eugene Scalia. Mr. Scalia, son of the late Supreme Court Justice Anthony Scalia, has emerged as one of the leading lawyers challenging Obama administration financial regulation. Yep, just as crazy and corrupt as his father, apparently. The New York Times wrote a piece about that brilliant op-ed about this on June 10th, titled, Isn't Honesty the Best Policy? I mean, it's just so bizarre. It's... Americans lose an estimated $17 billion, $17 billion in retirement savings every year because of misleading advice. $17 billion we're being robbed of every year. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-808-9925. And what's the Republican solution to that? Repeal Dodd-Frank! Do away with the rule. Free. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.